What's up guys, it's Kenny Irving here, and I'm making another video, YouTube video. This one's on Clash of Clans. I'm making a YouTube video on today, and this one's going to be about our war info. Also, this one is on my Town Hall 4 account, which is Max. Now, this is not a Let's Play series. This is just for war. I'm just going to show you a little bit of videos for war. Just attack strategies, base designs, and at the end I'll give you a little bit of replays. And one that got me so mad. Okay. Well, this is who we, this is our clan. We have four town hall tens, twelve town hall nines, five town hall eights. This is my account. I'm gonna show you my base. This is my base, so this is an anti drag base and anti go white base because wait a second. I may have to move my cannons. Maybe I'll if I move my cannons right here. Yeah. If I just move my cannon right there, then it will be an anti golem base because first of all, the dragons are going to get they're going to get havoc when they're working on these storages because the storages have like a whole bunch of hit points. And then my level 5 wizard tower and my level 6 air defense is going to go havoc on them. Okay. This will be the base that I'm attacking in war. It's town hall 7, okay. This is the base. And I am doing an all dragon raid. And just to let you know, I am horrible at air raids. I'm just horrible at it. So if I do not three star this base, I'm going to be heap of trouble by our leader. Okay. Now I'd like to show you a war video from last war. This one is Lethal's attack on number 14. And Lethal... Lethal Rush. He is one of our best attackers in this clan. Zen Masters. And if you want to join, you can join. Just send an invite. And if you're good enough, we'll accept you. You know, just in case you wanted to. Anyway, Lethal is coming here with Goho. And he's going to put his wizards up here at the top. Taking out these surrounding structures first to make sure that he at least gets... 50%. Now he's putting in his golem to draw out the draw out and distract the clan castle troops. And he's going to put his poison spell down on them. I do not know why this clan had witches and wizards in the clan castle if if the poison spell is just going to take him out. Like, I suggest you put you put, put dragons and balloons in your clan castle. Anyway, he's now he's bringing in the hog rider face. He puts one hog rider to check to see if there's any giant bombs or any double giant bombs. But there's only one giant bomb and there was only three hogs right there. So it didn't do much damage. Now it puts his perfect healing spell, which almost takes up the whole town hall area. And the king is going to try and chase those hogs down. But those hogs were being healed up. And they're way too fast. Puts in another healing spell which heals up the hogs. Which are taking about the cannon. This Tesla. And the archer tower. Sadly, the so most of the hogs didn't make it. For the end of the raid. But he, has extra, he brought extra balloons. To take care of these extra defenses. And that is what they do. Now at this point in the raid, he is thinking. Okay. This looks like at least that he's like he's thinking, all right, this is a three star because his witch is gonna take up the town hall with her skeletons, and the balloons are splitting up. So are some of the other skeletons, and so are the wizards. And he took at the beginning of the raid, remember, I was talking to you about when he took out those surrounding structures. If he wouldn't have took out those surrounding structures, he would have had let's say 97% one star. I mean, two stars. So, yeah, Lethal's are like a pretty good attacker. He's one of the best we got in this clan. 
And we have time for one more raid. And this one will be for my leader, Ash Houseworth. Housewares. My bad. My bad, Ash. So he's coming in here with a go wipe attack. And he's bring and he puts his gums in first to take out all the bombs for the wizards. Ooh, giant bomb right there that takes out a couple of the wizards. But as good attacker as he is, he didn't spawn in almost all of his wizards right there. So there's still a pretty good amount. Now we're dropping his P.E.K.K.A.s that go right to the center. Drops a perfect jump spell that goes over over the three walls in the three different sections of the walls. The queen is going in the center. The king is going in. Never mind. He's going to take out this gold storage. Then he's going in the center. The queen is in the middle shooting at the expo. And now look at these P.E.K.K.A.s. They're just so strong. Anyway, there's three packets together, and they're taking out the skeletons with the wizards. The queen and king are over here on the wall. Now the now they break through. Ugh, really, king? Now the king just gets done from going for a wall to go to another wall. Okay. Fail on the AI right there, Supercell. Anyway, now he's got the golems, which... Did you see that? The golems just straight up missed this wizard tower. And the way this base design is made, they they literally, instead of going for the archer tower, they went straight through to this wizard tower. I'm not sure if that was a good thing or a bad thing. He activates the queen's royal cloak. And now the wizard over here is going to get... <laughs> So going to die from that archer tower to cannon and the wizard tower. Now he's got his queen, one P.E.K.K.A., golems and giants over here, and one wizard. And he still has the king's iron fist, so that's good. Now this works out perfectly. The wizard tower and the archer towers are going on the golems and giants, and the queen is just shooting over the wall, taking out the archer towers, and the queen... The king and Pekka are on the, off to the side, taking out the surrounding structures. Now, the queen takes out the mortar, so the giant, not the giants, the wizards and the archers don't have anything to worry about splash damage, except for that wizard tower right there. But the wizard tower is going to get distracted by the king and the Pekka, and the archer queen is going to shoot the wizard down. And what a perfect executed three star. Three star attack. Now, now I'm going to show you my attack when I got so mad. Okay, are you are you ready for a fail? Okay, this is my attack. So, I scout this base. I'm like, okay. This is look at all this dude. Easy to get. Put my hog right here. Trying to trying to get trying to get the clan council troops out. Put my giant down. Make sure I got everything. Put a wizard over here to take this out. I'm gonna wait till the wizard takes out this archer. Then I'm not gonna drop my poison spell because I'm upgrading my dark elix not dark yeah dark elixir spell factories. So don't get mad at me for not dropping that poison spell. But I probably should have. <laughs> okay. Now I'll drop my golems up top. Checking for giant bombs for my wizards or any sp spring traps or anything. So there's nothing. Oh, there's a spring trap right there. And so my wizards are taking out these surrounding structures. And oh, drop my P.E.K.K.A. just a little tad too early. My wizards did not have. My wizards should have. I should have waited till my wizard took out the gold mine. Then I would have. Then I should have dropped her, but I did it. And now she's going off to the side. And now my Pekka and my king were about to go off to the side, but the wizard tower and the Pekka take out that builder's hut. Now the king is going to take out the elixir storage. And now I now I'm dropping my wall breakers to take out these these level nine walls. Excuse me, level eight walls. 
and I drop a lot of them to make sure I take them out since those are really hard to get out. Then my P.E.K.K.A. goes in the center. I drop a Rage Bull right there to get her accelerated. To get her accelerated through to take out the Dark Elixir storage. And then my King's over here. Rage him up. Now I'm going to make sure he... I thought he was going to get the Dark Elixir. Not Dark Elixir. I thought he's going to get this Elixir storage, but I guess not. And now this is where things get complicated so i'm gonna fast forward this look i break through this wall so my pekka can come right here after the town hall but i should have left her alone because her ai was to get after after she took down this archer tower she should have came and went right over here by this gold storage not gold storage just gold mine and she would take out the gold mine then the town hall then the barracks but I was trying to oversmart Supercell's program. Look at the P.E.K.K.A. What? She just misses the town hall. And I was like, oh my gosh. That's the end of this raid. So yeah, I, got, I ended up getting 93% one star. And I was pretty mad. I went to the clan chat and I was like, so upset. Speaking of being upset. Speaking of being upset. I upgraded my <clears throat> upgraded my dark elixir spell factory thinking I'm gonna get another spot, right? I mean not another spot, like another spell, right? Well I know I'm gonna get another spell, but I thought I was gonna get another spell spot. So I could be able to hold eight spell slots instead of seven. But I can't. That's what got me angry. I was like, wait, I thought no, no way. So I just wasted 2.5 million on something that I didn't even need. So thanks guys for watching the video. Make sure you please to like and subscribe. Follow my friend Ashton Beckham. Go to his YouTube channel. Go try and come to our clan. Thanks everybody.